That is delicious. You've got to try this. Hi, today we are making one of my favorites. It's a cedar plank grilled salmon. And I love salmon pretty much any way you cook it, but this is a really special dish. Uh, I am gonna make the paste that we rub on the salmon before we grill it. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then Dave's gonna show you how to prepare the planks and also how to prepare the salmon. So for the paste, uh, you need a few things from either your garden or the store. We grow some of our own herbs, so this is some fresh dill. Uh, you can buy that at the store though. Uh, lemon zest, I've already zested one whole lemon. Make sure you don't get the white, just get the, the nice yellow part. Uh, some garlic cloves, a little bit of sugar, some olive oil, and black pepper, and sea salt. So to make our paste, we want to start with the garlic, and we're just going to kind of mince that up real finely. Then the dill, you just want to kind of mince that as well. Uh, dill is a really pretty herb. As you can tell, it's kind of feathery and light, so it doesn't take much really. All right, that's it for the prep work. Now all we have to do is add about, maybe about a quarter cup. We have about six fillets we'll probably throw in the grill. And we'll just add our garlic lemon this already smells amazing i want to make sure we get all that in there after all that work there you go so get all those nice herbs and garlic in there. this is just about uh, maybe a teaspoon not quite a teaspoon of sugar uh, a lot of salmon recipes out call for just a little bit of sugar or brown sugar this is cracked black pepper You'll probably crack in about it half to three-fourths of a teaspoon. A few grindings there. And then about a half a teaspoon to three-quarters of a teaspoon of salt. This is sea salt. All right, now you can tell this is a paste. It's not really a sauce. It's You're just taking your herbs and your olive oil and making kind of a nice little paste of it. And then Dave will show you how to put this on the salmon. We've got about a two and a half pound boneless uh, filet of salmon that has the skin on. First thing we're going to do is flip it over and actually score the skin. We've done a little bit of it already. You want a really sharp knife because salmon is, the, the skin is just absolutely almost like leather and you want to try to get through it without going too far into the meat at all. The purpose of this is to allow the the smokiness of the cedar plank to come up into the salmon, um, but you, I, I like the skin on. There's just something about the presentation, and I just feel like it just makes a better end product myself. So you can you could also try to take the skin off, um, which is perfectly acceptable as well. So we've got it scored. Now we're going to flip it, and we're going to actually cut it into steaks, and depending on the how hungry your people are will determine the size of your steaks. And now we're going to apply this great paste that Liz made, which is dill and garlic and olive oil and sugar. And I wish you people could smell this right now because it is freaking awesome. And I'm going to go get those planks and we're going to place the salmon on the planks. We're going to get start grilling right now. Right, the planks are cedar. They've been soaking for for maybe three, three and a half hours in water that's been uh, had had about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt added to it. You can also add other flavors. You can add beer, you can add wine, you can add flavored liqueurs. It's kind of a cool process. So these are really nice and soaked and we're just going to start assembling the steaks. Oops, a little skin there. Directly on the cedar. And then we're gonna take it directly out to the grill. All right, so we've got our uh, charcoal set up with just direct heat, nothing fancy, no indirect. You could do this on a gas grill. Uh, in my opinion, this is one of those methods that you could use a gas grill just as effectively as charcoal, but frankly, we just stained our deck and we're not set up for gas yet, so we're doing real charcoal. So we've got the wooden planks, the cedar planks with the salmon on. 
really this becomes more or less a steaming process and we're going to be looking at roughly 30 minutes or so this uh, will heat up the the wood which creates steaming and a little bit of a smoking process but you can use these uh, cedar planks more than once so we're going to put the lid on and then we'll be back to check it in about 20 30 minutes we'll see what it looks like no mic right now but who cares look at this perfectly done <laughs> okay this is my first bite of our cedar plank salmon That is delicious. You've got to try this.